currently in the 2022 Ford Maverick uh, hybrid. We have uh, about 80 gallons of paint in the back. And uh, yeah, it should be a little good little delivery hauler. Uh, added some flex bed capability by installing some two by eights into the back. Should have brought, probably got a two by six as well, but um, it does, it does uh, have enough adjustment so that the paint in the back doesn't, you know, shoot forward or or topple over on the sides. Um, currently at an average of 34.5 miles per gallon. Uh, I'm probably driving about 80% highway, um, but I think that's inaccurate, especially because this is still a dealer tank, um, and the, the the handling, the sound, everything about the car is just perfect for. For the price, you can't complain. You can hear a little bit of engine noise, but it's still very quiet for a new car. If you look down here, the screen's actually pointed slightly towards this spot right here. It's kind of pointed, pointed straight forward instead of upwards or angled towards the driver, which is um, not not a big issue, but that is a small issue. Uh, the other thing would be uh, the mirror is mounted quite low on the windshield. I guess that's, I don't know what this black box is, but because of that mirror angle, um, that middle seat in the back, that headrest, if that's up at all, that blocks a lot of your view. And then um, that angle is not good enough to show you what's in your bed. That's something that's nice to do is sometimes I like to peek back in, in the rear view mirror and see if anything in my bed has moved or toppled over. Uh, so if I could put a mirror up here or something, that'd be very nice. But yeah, apart from that, I mean, it's it's quite the car. Got the landscape, good old Lancaster County. But yeah, um, this is everything I'd hoped for and more. Uh, seats are super comfortable. Uh, I tested a few trucks uh, before this one. I drove the Frontier. I drove Tacoma. I drove a what was it? I have an, we have an older F one fifty at the shop. Um, and what else did I drive? I think oh, a Colorado. And this by far is the most comfortable seat. Well, not not compared to the F-150. F-150 has a great seat, but I have abnormally long legs, and um, uh, this seat is long enough to give me some thigh support, uh, which is very nice. And uh, this is only uh, four-way, I think, six-way adjustable, so no lumbar support, but even still, it's super comfortable. We're going up quite a steep grade. Um, I'm going to slow down to 40, 45. Uh, I have about, what, 600 pounds of paint in the back Let's give it some gas absolutely no issue getting up to speed no sway no wobble it's got plenty of power the first stop is done still have two more stops but uh this is the i believe this is already chester county but right on the lancaster chester county border you have these views. That's uh, also this is uh, this is Amish country right here. They have one long driveway, not a road. It's just a driveway, and uh, eight different uh, eight different homes on here. And obviously, there's all, always a uh, custom woodworking shop at the at the front. I think I'll actually be able to fill up my gas tank. I'm still in the first tank. I'm only at I th believe. Uh, 340 miles total on the car. Amish farm stop number two is complete. We're down to about 13 gallons left to deliver. And uh, it's really nice actually. Let me, let me, let me show you what's going on here. So I had a full, I had a full bed, which is really nice with paint. I don't have bed liner in yet, but just for practicality of this bed, I just had the, the two by two by eights sitting here, and then when it's full, the paint doesn't really shift around. But then as it gets lighter and lighter, you have all these spots where you can put. I gotta get a two by six over here, but you have all these spots to place these boards. You can just keep them in the bed so it doesn't shift around much, which is super helpful on deliveries. But yeah, flex bed is being used, and it's very practical. All right, 
it's in drive, even though you can't hear it because it's a hybrid. All right, next stop. Uh, this is the Amish house. Looks like they're building a, building a new house right there. And they just got their paint. So. Good old Lancaster County. Tells you how much energy you've conserved when braking. Doing deliveries in Lancaster County, Southern Lancaster County, um, are my favorite because you get views of the beautiful rolling hills and the Amish schools. Pretty much a little flashback to 1800. We're averaging what, about 35 miles a gallon, 355 gallons in the tank. And we're almost at a quarter tank. So we could probably get to like, saying that we can get to almost 500 in this tank. But a lot of people were saying that the, the first fill up or the first few fill ups aren't very accurate through the computer. So after this uh, delivery, I'm gonna go fill up and uh, I'll see what the actual gas mileage is if the gas tank was actually full. All right, just filled up. It was uh, 365 miles. Again, I don't know how much they filled up from factory. Uh, 365 miles in the odometer. I think 30 of those were dealership miles, so they probably were testing it and getting probably bad MPG, most likely. Um, I drove 332 miles on it, but 365 uh, filled up regular gas, 10.7 uh, gallons, which uh, made it out to be about 34.9 MPG. But um, we'll see. I filled it up full now, and... Uh, I'll reset the trip and uh, I'll see what the MPG is on the second fill up. Here's the Maverick in all its glory. Took out the bed slats to have them stained. Maybe I'll do a video on that later, but it's very simple to do. This is what I was driving, the Super Outback. Compared to the Outback, it is taller, it looks beefier, it looks a little wider. Um, and I think it is like two inches longer a few inches longer than the Outback still. But yeah, there it is in Area 51 on a partly cloudy day. Looking as nice as ever. All right, maybe I'll do another video sometime, but this is the 2022 Maverick. Maybe I'll post updates. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. See ya.